Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to set up the transmission BitTorrent client on the new FreeNAS Corral. So the first thing we're going to need to do, we're going to come over here and click on console. And that'll take a second to load. And once it comes up, we can type shell. And what we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to want to CD to our preferred storage. And within that directory, we're going to, I think I've already done this, so let me remove these directories. What we're going to want to do is make directory, uh, well, you need a dash p, transmission, slash config, and we're going to make another directory called transmission slash watch. And these will be used as our persistence folders um, for um, for transmission to save its config. If we ever need to delete our container and create a new one, our configs won't get deleted. So we're going to go down to Docker, click on containers, click the plus sign, click on the FreeNAS collection, scroll down until we find transmission, click transmission, name our container, Select our host, our Docker host. If you haven't created one already, um, if you try to create a container, it, the FreeNAS will automatically cr create a Docker host for you. But if you create your own Docker host manually, you will be able to choose what storage that host uses rather than um, just the default storage that FreeNAS picks. We're going to want to make sure that our exposed ports checkbox is checked and scroll down to volumes. Click on the browse button next to config and we're going to want to navigate to the transmission config folder we created. Do the same thing with the watch folder. And on your downloads folder you're actually going to want to choose um, wherever you want to save your downloaded files with transmission. And in my case, uh, this is a folder that I uh, share via SIFS uh, or Samba um, through FreeNAS. Setting your time zone is optional. Click Save. And FreeNAS will begin building your container, which should only take a few seconds. Click on your container and click web UI. Should come up pretty quickly and it does. And you can set up your settings for where you want them to save. Um, by default it's downloads complete and what that will do is after a file is done downloading in transmission, um, or after a torrent is done downloading, that will uh, show up within, in my case, SMB complete. And that's pretty much all there is uh, for transmission on FreeNAS. That completes this tutorial. If you would like to see more videos like this, you should like and subscribe. Thank you.